Hello, this is Maker J1, and here's a neat little circuit I made. Um, it's a wireless jewel thief, similar to the other one I made before, except that the coil is this well, Cat5 cable here on this 5 gallon bucket. We have a loose connection there. Let me get that fixed. So, yeah, it's just five, Cat5 cable wrapped around this, this 1 gallon bucket, and I have three diff or actually four coils picking up the um, wireless energy. Um, and it's pretty, I've never actually seen. I've never actually gotten a wireless circuit to put out enough power to run a Christmas light bulb. And it's fairly efficient. It's, I mean, that's the output, so it's not very much output. And the input is about 50, 570 milliamps at 18-ish volts. So, so a good bit of input current and um, power, probably not very much output power, but it works. So, so yeah, I've got five... Cat5 cable. Um, I'm not really sure how long that is, um, but I've got all of the wires connected up so that they're um, in series, basically, so that it's all one, well, yeah, one long cable, I guess. Um, and I was playing around, and I found that actually, if you add these capacitors to the input into the output, it makes it a lot more efficient, and you're able to get the um, transfer. The wire you can pick up the range, the um, like the light bulbs at a farther range. So, so if I disconnect the capacitor here, and this is from just from the two ends of the coil here, and then right here in the middle is where you connect the positive of the jewel thief coil. So if I disconnect this capacitor, as you can see, it gets a lot dimmer, and the it doesn't go very far. So, so yeah, this these capacitors really improve it a lot and when you put them on the output this one's actually not connected up it makes it slightly brighter I don't know if you can see that on the camera but when I connect up the capacitor there it makes it a little bit brighter and it also does that with the LED too if I add two I added I was playing around and one improved it some and then if you add two it improves it a lot if you add three it dis it improves it less so there it actually takes away from the output. Um, but I have those connected before the bridge rectifier diodes there I have. Um, I'm using the same transistors that I used for my um, my super high voltage um, drill thief driver um, or super high voltage um, flyback transformer driver. So I've got two here connected in parallel. Um, I guess I'll give you, so, and then here's the resistors, um, they're connected in series to give me 500 and some ohms, so, figured out that that was the best amount, um, and then it can drive all of these coils, this one is a, um, Starship coil, and it drives that one quite well, so, so yeah, and it'll, it actually won't light up the Starship coil over here for some reason, um, but the other coils do work over there. So, as you can see, this little LED here that lights up too. And then we've got the LED which stays on way up here. It's probably about eight inches away, maybe. And that one lights up over here too. And then we've got the other Christmas light bulb. And I actually burned a Christmas light bulb out on this one here because I put it down here and it blew it. So, so yeah. Um, I guess I'll give you a scope shot. This is across the, let's see, so the common is connected to the ground and then the, um, let's see, this would be the base. So the bomb sig signal here is the base and then this one's the collector and it's on the 120 volt scale. So it's got a pretty big spike there of voltage. Um, so yeah, so yep, and then I guess that's about it. Um, I'll show you the waveform on my little scope here too. Oh, is it gonna work? There we go. It's got a little bit of a loose battery or a power switch there. Yeah, basically the same signal as on the big scope. So yep, it works. So yeah, um, thought that was pretty cool. Um, Thanks for watching.